Hello dear, welcome to my channel. Are you now ready for today's lesson? So come on, let's get started. Our lesson for today is about reading and writing numbers up to 100,000 in words and in symbols. Let us discuss first writing numbers in words. Let us take this numeral as our example. To write number in words, please follow the following steps. Step 1. Place each digit of the number in the place value chart. In reading and writing numbers in words and in symbols, remembering the periods is very important. And since we're reading and writing numbers up to 100,000, so we have to remember two periods, namely the units period and the thousands period. Under the units period, we have the ones place, the tens place, and the hundreds place. And under the thousands period, we have the thousands place, the ten thousands place, and the hundred thousands place. So, we will place the digit 5 in the ones place, 3 in the tens place, 4 in the hundreds place. 8 in the thousands place and 6 in the ten thousands place. Step 2. We read the number by period. We start reading from left to right. So, we start reading from the thousands period going to the units period. Looking at the number found in our place value chart here, how do we read the numeral in the thousands place? Correct! 68. So, we will write the word 68 here. Step 3. Write the name of the period. Write the singular form of the period. Instead of saying thousands, we say thousand. We will write the word thousand here. So, the number in the thousands period is 68,000. Step 4. Read only the number in the units period. We don't mention the name of the period when it is in units. And how do we read the numeral in the units period? Correct! It's 435. So, we will only write 435 here. We do not mention the name of the period here since it is in units. Step 5. Use comma to separate the periods. In writing numbers in words, we use comma to separate the periods. We put the comma after the word thousand. So, the number word four, 68,435 is 68,435. Easy, right? Okay now, what if we are asked, to write 84,076 in symbol. How are we going to do it? Very easy. Step 1. Prepare a place value chart with the two periods, namely the units period and the thousands period. Under the units period, we have the ones place, the tens place, and the hundreds place. And under the thousands period, we have the thousands place, the ten thousands place, and the hundred thousands place. Step 2. Write the numeral under each period. In the given number, 84,076, what number is in the thousands period? Correct! 84. So, we will write the numeral 84 under the thousands period. Next, what number is in the units period? Correct! 76. We will write the numeral 76 in the units period. Step 3. Place each digit in its correct place value. The number 76 under the units period means 6 ones and 7 tenths. So we will place the digit 6 in the 1's place and the digit 7 in the 10's place. Next, 
the number 84 under the thousands period means 4 thousands and 8 ten thousands. We will place 4 in the thousands place and 8 in the ten thousands place. But if you're going to take a closer look at our place value chart here, we can see that there is no digit in the hundreds place. And it simply means that there are no hundreds. But we will not leave the hundreds place empty. Since it means no hundreds, so we will write the digit 0 to complete the digits in the units period. Our place value chart here shows 8 ten thousands, 4 thousands, 0 hundreds, 7 tenths, and 6 ones. And this is equal to 84,076. Step 4. Use space to separate the periods. In writing numbers in symbols, we use space to separate the periods. We put the space after the third digit from the right. One, two, three, space. So, the symbol for 84,076 is 84,076. Easy, right? Just always remember that learning mathematics is just easy. Especially if you'll study with me. This is Teacher M saying, keep learning and keep growing. Bye!